the word bhavana, which is the word for meditation, means to develop. And what we're doing is we're taking good qualities that we already have in the mind but are still not strong enough. We make them stronger. We make them stronger by exercising them. It's like the body. If the body just sits around and doesn't do anything, it gets weak, even though you may feed it well. It's still not strong. You have to exercise it, put it to work. In this case, you're putting your mindfulness to work, you're putting your alertness to work, you're putting your ardency, your desire to do this well. So try to remember to stay with the breath, and each time you discover that you've wandered off, bring it right back. That develops all three of those qualities right there. Bring it back, and then while you're here, try to be as sensitive as you can to how the breathing feels. Because there is the potential for refreshment, pleasure, in your experience of the body right now. And it's connected to the way you breathe. So explore that. As you're focusing on the body here in the present moment, it may not feel like much. But again, there are potentials to be developed. The Buddha very rarely talks about accepting things simply as they are. And there are a few cases where he says, if a defilement comes up, there are certain kinds of defilement that require only that you watch them and they'll go away. Others, they require work. So you take the potentials that you have in the, in the present moment and you try to develop them. You don't just sit there and watch them. It's like learning how to cook. If you want to learn about an egg, you don't just sit there and look at the egg, even though you may look at it for hours and hours. You try to make something out of it. An omelet, scrambled eggs, fried eggs, poached eggs, steamed eggs. And as you do these different things to the eggs, you learn an awful lot about eggs. And it's the same with the mind. You're trying to get it concentrated, you're trying to get it settled down. You're trying to get it clear here in the present moment. And as you do something with it, you begin to learn about it, what its potentials are, where it's re recalcitrant, where it doesn't want to cooperate. You learn about that too. But it's only by working with the present moment that you actually learn. This is a principle that has held Buddhism in good stead for a long, long time. The fact that there are things that we can do in the present moment, there are potentials in the present moment that we can develop. And they can make all the difference between whether you're happy or whether you suffer. We all want happiness, but you look at the world and it's as if people don't take their happiness all that seriously. If you're really serious about happiness, and this doesn't mean being grim, it means looking at what actually works and trying to get the most happiness you can, you'd see that it, it comes from developing the mind. Because if your happiness depends on things outside too much, the way with things outside is you gain and other people lose, or they gain, you lose. And so that kind of happiness is very short-lived. But if you develop happiness out of these potentials you already have inside, you're not taking anything away from anyone. You actually have more to offer them once these qualities are developed. So this is the kind of happiness that's going to last. So pay attention in here. Look for the potentials you have in here that you can develop in terms of a sense of well-being inside, the sensitivity, the sensitivity of your mind to what's going on. And as things, these things develop, they will show what they can do when they're strong.